Eighth play of the drive coming for Delaware. Scampering into the end zone, and that is six for Delaware. The FCS Championship quarterfinal, second down and goal. Henderson to Lee again. Lee to the end zone. Lee, Lee, touchdown, Lee. Blue Hands. He's in for the Delaware touchdown. So AC Graham is out, and it looks like Uriah West is going to take a direct snap. The running back. They put it in his hands, and he puts it into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacksonville seen... State. This is his fifth FCS playoff appearance. Took the took liberty to the semifinals back in 2015. He's 49 seconds away from taking Delaware to the semifinals. We see Graham looking at the end zone. Call touchdown. Jared Scott from 27 yards out. First catch of the season. And that makes things a little more interesting here in the final 40. How about that? And you see Graham again just being patient, trying to get out of the way, and then boom, finds his big 6'6 receiver. Let's see if they use the quarterback again here. Jefferson has five touchdowns on the season. Make it number six. Nine-nothing Bearcats and Sam Houston flexing in our first quarter. Bearcats are within the range of Seth Morgan. Long of 44 this season. Schmidt fires. Smith has it. Smith towards the end zone. Smith with a touchdown for Sam Houston. An enormous opening possession for the Bearcats to start our second half. From 23 yards out, Noah Smith reaches Pater. Now an enormous possession coming up for NDSU. Foreign territory trailing by two scores on the road in postseason play. Bison on the road, the FCS playoffs for the first time since 2010 today. Watson with a crease, and he's going to try to change things, and he will. Off to the races, and the special teams for the Bison respond. A 94-yard kick return for a touchdown and a brand-new game once again, Luke's. My goodness. <laughs> Talk about being able to, what's the saying, drive have a Mack truck through that hole? <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Jeez. And that's just see how fast you can run once he broke through that initial coverage. Every point scored today by NDSU coming courtesy of special team. Three minutes of real time ago, we're thinking Sam Houston's getting ready to run away with this thing. Instead, North Dakota State with possession and a chance to tie it up, perhaps. They can get things going. More special teams, wizardry. And look at this, North Dakota State, far sideline, Braylon Henderson. Unbelievable. Second special teams touchdown and as many touches for the Bison. You can't create points on defense and you're not able to score points on offense there's a reason there's a third portion of this game wow 46 yard punt but a 76 yard return five in the box this is a definite rundown opportunity schmidt gonna take off inside the five for the touchdown you call it schmidt responds sam houston back in front they took this ball with 7.42 remaining in the first quarter, and there's a chance they take this thing all the way down to the end. Great cut, and Jay Obisay, touchdown, JMU. And statement drive that was Mike Golick Jr. Over seven minutes off the clock, 11 rushes, two passes, and a touchdown to extend their lead and an extra point away from making it 10-0.
and just a great inside zone play. Look at number 37, Clayton Cheatham, the tight end, just washing down the entire backside. This entire group up front takes so much pride in going out there and moving men against their will. We expected to see him a little bit this afternoon. This is the second play we've seen him. Second and goal now. North Dakota, a little bit of momentum. Otis Way is still in the backfield. Vaughn's going to keep it himself. Has space to the right side. Quincy Vaughn, touchdown. North Dakota gets on the board. First and goal, JMU. Give to a Jay Obisay up the middle. Touchdown, Dukes. Second of the day for a Jay Obisay. Six yards, big play, running touchdown. Right now, everything working for JMU. And the give to Weah, and Otis Weah muscles his way in. Touchdown, North Dakota. What an answer, what a drive, all set up by the penalty on the punt. Looking left all the way, over the middle, and a good throw. Antoine Wells, what an individual effort. Touchdown, Dukes. Antoine Wells, a big game a week ago. Four catches, 132 yards in the playoff win, and he is picking up right where he left off. Six catches, 80 yards, nine play, 87 yard drive, and a great play design here. You see him in the bunch, and they get levels in the middle. And we know you're trying to eat clock. This would be a great place to mix a pass and get the first down right now. Keep your foot on the gas. And they will. John to the bank. He's going to go deep. Looking for Wells. Antoine Wells. Second consecutive week. Starring in the playoffs as a freshman. And that might do it for JMU. Two shot. Let me give it another one. Back shoulder throw. Skokna up the middle. Touchdown. North Dakota still fighting late fourth quarter. Two seconds on the play clock. Bronowski pulls it back. His first pass of the game is complete into the end zone. Touchdown! A 23-yard connection to Jaden Yonke. And the Jackrabbits are on the board first. So here's Javon Williams. But they're going to hand it off to Xavion Furcron. Are you serious? The offensive lineman gets the touch into the end zone. That's right, big man. Get in there. <laughs> rumble, big man, rumble. Xavier Furcron, 6'2", 327 pounds, senior, just goes right off the left side. Let's remember, Stone Labanowitz was not the starting quarterback to start this season for Southern Illinois. How about a little trickeration? Cox around the outside. He's in there. Touchdown, Salukis. They take their first lead of the ball game on an 11-yard run. Play clock set four. Bronowski looking corner of the end zone. Oh, he's in there. One of the twins, Jaden Yonke, 26 yard touchdown, and the Jackrabbits are back in the game. Big boy package for the Jackrabbits. On third and four, the quarterback keeper, Gronowski, he's still on his feet and he's got daylight. First down and more to the 30. It's a track race to the end zone. Touchdown, South Dakota State. A 67-yard touchdown run by Mark Gronowski. And the Jackrabbits take the lead. It was the quarterback trap again. They got everybody going one way and then bring him all the way down. And it's just two missed tackles. One by Bryson Strong, number 31, the short tackler for Southern Illinois, but just watch the speed. This is what we've seen Gronowski do all season long. Back left. Handoff to Davis. He's in there. Touchdown, Jackrabbits. A four-yard scamper, and it's been all South Dakota State here in the second half. Have to get it to their difference maker. Banowitz looking to throw, airing it out in the end zone. He caught it. 
Landon Lenore somehow came down with that catch. A flag comes in at the end of the play. A 31-yard touchdown pass right now. Let's see what the call is. Pass that call's going to stand up. That's on five. defense. The penalty is declined. Touchdown. Lenore has been the big play. Look at he runs the route. Nice little post route. The ball's thrown, but again, high pointing. He's interfered with by Deshaun Gales. But again, Lenore high pointing the football. 6-1, 192 pounds, out jumping the 5'11, 185 Gales.